Um, I grew up in Uzbekistan. My dad built a house where I grew up, you know, by making bricks uh, from the ground, which was surrounding the building site. Um, he pretty much built all the windows and doors and uh, the floors. Uh, so, you know, stuff like this. I, I just remember, you know, the shavings and the, uh, the smell of wood surrounding me, even as he was building the house, because it took, it didn't just all happen in a few months, and there it is, it's freshly painted and we moved in, so. I think it's important to keep in mind that it's, um, the stone wood was once a tree, and it stood in a forest, uh, and it uh, absorbed nutrients from the ground, and it responded to the sun and the climate. Um, and it's got a story to tell. being a kid and playing and stuff like this and maybe that's part of the reason I'm still uh, preferring to deal with wood in a tactile way rather than just uh, having a machine rip through a board and suck all the dust away I'd rather make some shavings and you know uh, have them in my hand you know so it goes back to my childhood I really enjoy building pretty much every component of the guitar. Um, it's pretty easy to just buy a lot of pre-manufactured components and just essentially you almost become a kit assembler. I don't quite connect with that. I still make all of my own rosettes. I uh, do a lot of uh, my own purflings and all these components. Um, uh, in this case, I utilized uh, some driftwood that I found uh, walking along Oregon coast. There's, there's a lot of opportunity for uh, a builder and uh, a musician to work together and come up with something special and unique. It begins with a dialogue. Uh, I begin by gathering sort of the, uh, the basics about what a musician wants to see happen. And from there, uh, we can refine that vision. It's important to make sure that the instrument is not only going to look beautiful, but is going to be um, stable and structurally sound over many, many years. I, I've worked with uh, European spruce, um, both from kind of western part of Europe and also some of the East, eastern European uh, species of like Carpathian spruce, etc. Um, we've got amazing selection of um, our own North American tone woods, Engelmann spruce, Sitka, we've got uh, various hybrids of Sitka and Engelmann called Lutz spruce. Uh, and then for back and the sides of the guitar, you can traverse the globe. <laughs> From rosewoods to local maples to sycamore to uh, ebony's, you, the, the choices are many. It's that uh, metamorphosis, you know, you start with pieces of raw material um, and slowly it starts to take shape. person has said it this way. So guitar making is simple. Take some wood, chisel away and plane away everything that's not a guitar, 
and boom, there it is.